I'm going to say right now that I never thought I would be childless. It wasn't the future I envisioned. Since I was a kid, I wanted to follow that path to get married and have children, maybe a couple of dogs, live in a nice house in the country with a picket fence, etc. Then MRKH happened and it took me a while to realise what that really meant for me and for my future path. Sure, it was going to be difficult, but not impossible, right? As I learnt more about the options, though, I admit I was a bit terrified about the process. Lengthy processes with a lot of emotional strain on you and your partner and potentially a lot of money also. But I admit I wanted to pursue it, so I explored the options, went to information days and learnt more about it from others who'd been through the process. We decided to give it a shot and so we started that process. But with appointment delays and testing to be done, it took us over a year to find out if our test showed everything medically looked all right. In that time, the stress of thinking about this and even attending the test was not something either of us relished and ultimately we stopped talking about it, probably for fear of upsetting the other. We applied, appealed in what felt like a repeat cycle for months to see if we could get support for the IVF process through the NHS and were denied each time. Always being told MRKH was not rare enough and supporting us would set a precedence. I hated that. I hated everything about why that was the reason when I was born with a condition I could do nothing about. In the end, it was clear. If we wanted to pursue, we needed to pay. And at that time in our lives, we just weren't really able to do that. We'd always known it was a possibility we wouldn't be able to get the funding, but we felt it important to try. So we decided to drop it, which was a hard decision for us at the time. In doing so, it was clear it had had a detrimental impact on our relationship. And unfortunately, we ended up splitting up. Looking back now, I know I was so focused on that because that is what I thought I wanted. But having had the benefit of hindsight, I know actually that really none of the options presented really made me think this is something I want to pursue. But the thought of not having a family felt worse. So much of our lives are focused around children and family. And I realised that actually I didn't feel I had that hole to fill in the same way some people do. And that, hey, whilst it would have been nice, I didn't feel good about the options available. My boyfriend and I have been together nearly seven years now, and we have discussed this a lot. And he was of the same mind. And we rather subconsciously made the decision that this was not something for us to pursue. Helped perhaps in part by our personal situations changing, new jobs, new countries, etc. To be honest, that felt like a weight released. Don't get me wrong, it took a while to process my grief around infertility, but when I was no longer panicking about the future, I could live in the moment and reflect on the amazing little people in my life, including four godchildren. I'm so proud to be part of their lives, their parents' lives, and see them grow up. I like the life I have, I like the flexibility I have, and I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. Whilst parenthood is one route, a childless or child-free life should not be considered almost an inferior alternative by society, as it still seems to me in 2021 that it is. I didn't choose to be childless, but I'm definitely not inferior because of it, and I admit I hate that general society hasn't really caught up with that notion yet. I've learnt that whilst I always thought I would be a mother someday, that feelings change, situations change, and that not everything we think will happen, will happen. Doesn't mean it's a bad thing. In fact, for me, for us, it's been quite liberating and exciting. And after 20 years of infertility, I feel like I have found the path that is right for me.